Alright, Shalom. It's the brother from GMS. I'm calling you again back with another video. Before we go any further, we'll praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Karkwadash, the honors of the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, for teaching us to represent truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings to the flex of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Just want to get into a lesson. You know, center upon, you know, the house of mourning, you know, the spirit that the sincere Akiyam are in, you know, the sincere, you know, believers of Yah by Shema Shai, you know, the men, women, and children. This is, a. Uh, we're going to start Ezekiel 21 and 9, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. And also furnished, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is firm, furnished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? And that is a question. This is the definition of mirth. It says amusement, especially as expressed, especially as expressed in laughter. So should we be, you know. Do we then make mirth knowing that death and destruction is ultimately the end game of America? You see, that we are yet this day in our captivity serving a hardcore bondage. And the reason why we are here is because we went off and sinned against Shah by Shema and Shai. Do we just live it up here in America? Or do we go into the house of mourning, sighing and crying, being shown remorse? Unto Yah by Shema Hashem, read that again. Son of man, prophesy and say. This is what the prophets of Yah by Shema Hashem are going to be doing. Just thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and furnished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. You see, what does it say in Micah 2 and 10? The rising and the part, for this is not your rest. For this polluted, it shall destroy you. Even with the sword destruction. Isn't that the spirit of America? Don't scriptures talk about how in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into the marriage into the day that Noah into the enter into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also be in, in the coming of the Son of Man. You see? So the sore slaughter is coming upon the earth. It is furnished that it may glitter. You know, it's talking about those nuclear missiles. Should we then make mirth? That's a question. Do we then live it up? Is not the world living it up? Is not the world in the, in, the, in the house of mirth? You see, the Lord is looking for those in the house of mourning. You know, like I told you in Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, it continueth, it continueth. Tentive the rod of my son as every tree. <laughs> this is James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands. Ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning, and your joy into heaviness. Let's start up at verse 8 again. It says, Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh unto you. How do you draw nigh unto Yahweh by Shemoshai? By repenting. By turning back, you see? Turning your back on the world. Scriptures talk about how you should hear a word behind these saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. So we draw nigh unto Yahweh Shema Shai by getting back on that straight and narrow path, you see, serving the Lord in all humbleness, humbleness of mind, fearing Him. It says, Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. How are you going to cleanse yourself? Psalms 119.9 Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way 
by taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart I have sought thee. So you seeking out Bashima Shawi, O heart, you know, taking heed to what he's saying, that is how you're going to cleanse yourself from the pollution of this world, you see. This world is on turn up mode. You see, we we are not to be so. Be afflicted and mourn. So the, the Lord is telling us to be afflicted and mourn, you see, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness, you see. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. You know, us, that's, that's us, us being afflicted, us mourning, us weeping unto Yah by Shema Shai. You know, us making that's uh, us making videos, us sending up constant prayers continually to Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's us humbling ourselves in His sight. Us, you know, that's us humbling ourselves in His sight, and He's going to lift us up out of the state. You know, for us when we part of the elect and put us on high. You see. This is Psalms 34, and let's start at 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So, scriptures say depart from evil. The ways of this world, you know, that is what is evil. You know, the world doesn't realize what times we are living in. It says, and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So seek Yah by Shimon Chai and pursue it. Go after uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cries. So the scriptures talk about the righteous. They're going to be crying unto the Lord. You see? Did not let's um let's go open up the other Bible app. Was not you know, let's see, let's see what spirit men, let's see, let's see what spirit we're supposed to be on. Let's get this, Second Peter 2, and let's just straight to the point, verse 6, Second Peter chapter 2, verse 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example Unto those that after should live ungodly. You know, we all know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Verse 7, and delivered just Lot. So he delivered righteous Lot. You know, just, righteous, you know, holy. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them. And seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So Yah Bashim al Shai, he heard Lot crying in Sodom and Gomorrah. He was vexed with their filthy conversation. Because he was dwelling among wickedness. Are we not dwelling among wickedness now? You know, every time you go to the grocery store, you gotta check the food labels. You know, you're 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 conscious about drinking bottled water. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. You know, the food, the air we breathe, the people we're around, the things we see all of them day long. You see, it vexes our spirits just like it vexes a lot. And Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, sighing and crying unto the Lord, and the Lord heard it. And he delivered them out of all his trouble. Verse 16, Psalm 34 and 16, The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut the remembrance of them from the face of the earth. See, the Lord is going to cut the remembrance of the wicked from the, from the face of the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hear and deliver and deliver them out of all their trouble. Let's get this definition of cry. Weep, call, shed tears, sob, wail, 
be in tears. Cry one's eyes out. Cry one's heart out. Cry as if one's heart would break. Howl. We whimper. Whine. You see, lament, grieve, mourn. So this is what the righteous will be doing. This is an antonym, meaning the opposite was laugh. You see? The righteous cry in the Lord here and deliver them out of all their trouble. We are troubled here in America. So the righteous will be crying. The righteous will be sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. How can you be in a broken heart when you are laughing? When you are in party mode? You see? When you're worried about mirth and drinking wine all day long. When you're worried about, you know, an Israelite party. The Lord is nigh. Don't you want the Lord to be nigh unto you? The Lord is nigh. The Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Shai, is nigh unto them. Thou art of a broken heart. And save as such that be of a contrite spirit. Let's get this definition for contrite. Because this definition is pretty heavy. Remorseful, repentant, pentful, regretful, full of regret, sorry, apologetic, self uh, reproachful. <laughs> you see, shame face, guilt ridden, sackcloth and ashes. Can you party in sackcloth and ashes? That's what you should be asking yourself. Many. It says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Oh my gosh. Are we still going? Come on, come on, slack him out. Because I didn't see the thing up there. I guess we are still going. Come on, come on. It says, the, 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 the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as being a con of a contrite spirit. So the Lord is going to save such. That be of a contrite spirit. Don't you want to be saved out of America? That should be your number one goal. You see, to be saved and to be shown mercy from Yahweh by Shai. And saveth such of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. So Yahweh by Shai is going to deliver those that are, are, are being are humbled. You see, they are sighing and crying unto him. We're going to close it out in the Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything, there is a season. Any time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 4, a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So there's nothing wrong with dancing, living it up, living your best life. But do you do that now? Do we then make mirth? Knowing that Yahweh Bashimel Shai is about to bring a sword destruction on America. Knowing that he's only coming back to save those that are in a contrary spirit. That are taking their uh, punishment seriously. And trying to learn from their mistakes. That's what you should be asking yourself. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. So we are not in the time of laughing. We are in the time of weeping to Yah by Shemel Shai. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So that is the time that we are living in. You know, a time to mourn and a time to weep. You see, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better, see, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. It is better. You know, there's no questions about it. It's better to go to the house of mourning, the house where you sigh and cry, you know, unto the Lord. You know, you try to do better. You repent. The house of repentance. You see, a lot of these sheikhs are not repenting. They don't think they have to repent. I know that I'm an Israelite and I'm saved already. They're, they're no better than the Christians, you see. It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. 
So sorrow is better than laughter. Let's look up this definition for better. Because, you know, let's look up some definitions today. Better, superior, more advantage of a more excellent or effective type or quality. Superior, finer, higher quality, greater, in a different class, one step ahead, more acceptable, preferable, recommended. So, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continent, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So, the heart of the wise, let's get the definition for wise. Wise, it says sage, intelligent, intelligent, clever, learned, showing great knowledge. You mean a whole bunch of nerds and dweebs? You know, are you are you you know what I mean? If brothers watch the other Manatazakba's video, then you know what I'm talking about. You see, intelligent, clever, learned, showing great knowledge, knowledgeable. Informed, enlightened, sharp, you know, that's something we said, <laughs> that's something brother say, that's a sharp brother right there, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's a sensible, knowing, prudent, discerning, where we discerning the times, full of insight, so well judged, well advised. Olish, Alish, uh, I'll look up this word, this Al, uh, can't click on it, but this Al, Alish, you know, owls are supposed to be, okay, Alish, like an owl, owls are supposed to be very wise and smart. You know what owls can do? They can see in the dark, you see? It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools, so we know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So those that fear the Lord, those are the wise, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. They despise the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem and the instruction, you know, that was given unto them, what they should do to observe, to avoid punishment, you see? It says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the house of fool, but the heart of the fools... But the heart of the fo of fools is in the house of mirth. <laughs> it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. You know, so the rebuke of the wise, you know, that's coming by via the prophets. Starting with our apostles and elders, the great millstone teaching us 100% truth. You know, rebuking, correction, exhorting us to continue in the faith. You know, just a, just a quick lesson, you know, all through spirit. You know, we should be in the house of mourning. You know, we are yet this day in our captivity. What is there to be happy about, you know? Only thing we are happy about right now is that America is going down. Yahweh Bishanah Shai is waking up his elect. The Lord is making good on his promises, you know, that he will uh, bring down the so-called white man, bring down Esau, Edom. And he will exalt his men in due time after Yahweh Shai is exalted in the earth. You see? But with that, we go all praise on the glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makarkwadash, the Barnes, the Apostle, and others, the Great Millstone, for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible more well, and peace and blessings to all for like the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.